Hey guys, welcome to another video for the K20 Pro and today I'm really excited to share another ROM with you. Now this ROM has been in development for a very very long time and people have been asking me to try it but I finally got the opportunity to try it. Yes, we are talking about the Google Pixel 5 ROM for the K20 Pro also known as Hentai OS and I have installed it on the K20 Pro and using it as a personal device. So this is the first impressions. I'm going to tell you how my 24 hours with this particular ROM has been. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us and support the channel. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kailash let's get going all right so we will call it the pixel 5 rom because the rom has sort of a funny name right but we will talk about the change log first and for that we have to go to telegram now as you can see over here hentai os rika fury open beta so they are still calling it a beta the build date is the 23rd of june and the size is 1.89 gb and it supports f2 fs file system only so let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a how to install video on this or not now first let's actually look at the change log real quick and the thing that I like from these guys is they do things in a very, very organized manner. For example, if you want to see the change log, they have a complete PDF, like it's something professional. And I really, really appreciate that sort of an approach towards a custom ROM because then it makes your phone feel very, very polished and very, very amazing, right? So it does say the show must go on, which means they have decided to continue developing this ROM for this particular device. It does come with a June security roll up second roller coaster and then it has a ton of changes including a lot of changes that have been implemented from MIUI 12.5.1 so that is something good and if you want to read the complete change log you can go there and read it or you can pause the video right now and you can read it but I'm gonna tell you about my experience with this particular ROM first of all let's quickly talk about the flashing part it's a little tricky because this ROM only and only supports F2FS file system now a lot of you have been asking what is the default file system the default file system on all the phones is ext4 F2FS is sort of a newer version of that and it is faster your phone would feel much uh, you know slightly snappier and stuff so that is what f2fs is i'll make a dedicated video on that some other day but when you boot this is the home screen that you're greeted with if you talk about the launcher first you go to home settings and you go to about you will see that it comes with the pixel launcher when you talk about the pixel launcher you have the usual set of options which are available to the left you do have google discover and this is a very very clean and minimalistic home screen with the google search bar at the bottom so google assistant works absolutely fine i have gone ahead and tested that ignore the red accents over there but if you talk about the notification tiles you don't really have a lot of customization so this is what my you know main point towards this rom is if you're someone who likes evolution x resurrection remakes nitrogen os or Havoc OS which has a ton of ui customization this rom is not for you this is sort of for people who are pixel experience lovers you love simplicity everything that is provided with the pixel 5 devices you will get that over here matter of fact you do get the google one membership as well which gives you some credit or something of that sort i'm not really tried that but in the notification tiles you do have some options you do have screen recording very very simple screen recording with internal and external audio so let's quickly start screen recording over here there you go and even after the screen recording has started you will notice that there is no jitter stutter there is no performance degradation that is what i like and love about aosp roms for any device for that matter so let's quickly stop the screen recording over here and remember this rom comes with g apps pre-built so if you go to the multitasking menu you will see that you do have select working like a boss right you do have the screenshot option you can share edit and stuff like that so all the android 11 goodies are working completely fine 
right but the main part here is settings if you go to settings if you go to system and if you see you do have developer options system update so you have a built-in system updater so you can go ahead and install ot updates from here as well you have the android 10 gestures which are working absolutely fine in about phone it says it's a pixel 5 which is the good thing over here and moving on if you go to android version 11 you will notice that it comes with the immensity kernel the latest immensity kernel and the developer for the immensity kernel and this rom is the same this guy's name is utsav he brings amazing stuff to k20 pro so if you want to support him go on telegram and donate him or something he's doing a great job with this particular device now at first boot this rom does come with very very few applications right you don't really have a lot of bloatware which is the the first reason why your phone feels snappier and faster apart from it being a f2fs file system the good thing over here is the camera situation is really really great because you have g cam go now this might not be nx camera this might not be a full-fledged g cam but hey something is better than nothing and it allows you to click pro portraits and most of the camera features work as expected now you would ask me what has your experience been because in at this point in the video usually i would tell you that this is the customization that is the customization you can use this you can use this but not in this case because this is a very very pure android-esque rom you have all the android 11 features that are working absolutely fine for me the rom has been rock solid very very smooth very very stable and for those who want to try the stunts this is a oss you know oss vendor based rom i did try nx camera it did not work so don't waste your time there rather install gcam so the ui as a whole looks pretty pretty smooth and slick the performance has been great even the battery life for that matter the charging has been good the battery life for me has been pretty decent i've not really had any problems with voice calls or you know playing games and stuff like that somewhere down the line we will be doing a gaming performance live stream of this rom as well but not today today we're doing something different so moving on if you ask me what about the benchmarks but hey before i tell you about the benchmarks let me show you you know the app icon animations there you go this is what i love about aosp it is so smooth so fluid as you can see over here you have these shortcuts for google assistant to the left and to the right and if you go ahead and execute them you will get google assistant over here so all in all this is very very pixel-esque the pixel live wallpapers are working absolutely fine if you go to styles and wallpapers you do have the june pixel drop wallpapers as well so all in all what i'm trying to say here is all the pixel 5 features most of them are present in this particular rom they are working as expected now we can talk about the benchmarks so in terms of benchmarks we tried three things we tried cpu throttle test we tried geekbench and we tried antutu so let's see how this phone performed so this is the cpu throttle test and it does say that the CPU throttle to 71%. So not the best result, but in my experience of gaming, it has been pretty good. It might not be as great as Oxygen OS or Siberia ROM for that matter, but it's pretty decent. Moving on, if we talk about Geekbench, which is a benchmark that I really, really trust. So let's go to the history of Geekbench over here. 696 and 2033 now again this is not the most powerful score but it gets the job done and last but not the least we do have antutu benchmark now remember this rom doesn't have thermal profiles this rom doesn't have something which allows you to be in a gaming mode and tell the phone that don't throttle or don't do this don't do that that is the reason you might see that the scores are a little on the lower side but this is the antutu score for what it's worth so all in all as a package in the pixel 5 rom or hentai os what you get is a very very polished rom which you can definitely use as a daily driver because if you check safety net over here safety net passes out of the box so you don't need to worry about your banking applications my wide wine has been working just fine amazon prime hd netflix have been working just okay so your media you know needs are taken care of there and it's pretty stable i've not had any random reboots any bugs any force closes so all in all this rom for you if you are a casual person who uses the k20 pro as a personal device some gaming some camera capturing and stuff like that this is the rom you should definitely try it and let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular rom there are a lot of videos coming up for the k20 pro so stay tuned and hit the notification bell icon if you've not subscribed yet 
That's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.